Dear all, good morning. We teachers have started. We are back to classes. We as teachers have internalized the current paradigmatic shift in the regular mode of teaching learning process to the online mode of teaching learning process. The need of the hour is a wake-up call to adapt to the new normal <clears throat> and this uh, unique new normal isn't the same, will not be the same as the old normal. The ripple effects of the coronavirus pandemic will definitely create a tremendous uh, and permanent impact on the academic, intellectual, professional and cultural landscape of education. Dear students, at this critical juncture, get ready to shed away all your psychic anxieties and existential uncertainties because um, life is all about expecting the unexpected. Please do remember that life is not a bed of roses. According to the American literature, Robert Frost, in three words, I can sum up everything I have learned about life. It goes on. So, let's go on. Let's move on. Let's get started. The time is N-O-W now. I am Ms. Noble Apalith, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Sacred Heart College for Women, Chalaguri. Sacred Heart College for Women, Chalaguri, as you all know, is affiliated to the University of Calicut. One of the core papers prescribed for the fifth semester BA English Language and Literature is Language and Linguistics. The code number of the paper is ENG5BO2. Language and Linguistics, an introduction, is spent by Ms. Kamala K, former Associate Professor and Head of the Department of English, Little Flower College, Guruayur. This textbook is prescribed for study and reference. The title, Language and Linguistics, an introduction, is very suggestive. As the title suggests, um, this textbook is carefully designed to cater to the needs of the beginners um, who would like to acquaint and familiarize themselves with the varied linguistic terms and terminologies. The entire textbook is split into four different modules. Module 1 is the beginnings. Module 2 is what is linguistics. Module 3 is phonetics and phonology. Module 4 is Introduction to Grammar. Of the four different modules, I will be discussing the first 
two modules and a few selected portions of the last module. So let's begin with the first module. That is the beginnings. In today's class, I wish to emphasize and focus on two key points. First, what is language? Where you will be able to understand some general ideas related to the concept of language. Second, I will be telling you about the etymological derivation of the term language and what are the alternative words used in other European languages for the word language. So, let's discuss the first question. What is language? All organic beings communicate. Humans, animals, fish and plants. Language is an entity that deserves a series of descriptive labels. Language is primarily a means of communication, a mode of conveyance, a medium of expression, an instrument of interaction. Language is the most fascinating entity and the prime factor that distinguishes man from the animals. Language occupies an undeniable place in the lives of the common man. It has become an integral part of our lives. It is inextricably linked to us. Because of its familiarity, we hardly notice it. We rarely observe it. It is often equated with breathing and walking. Now, let's discuss uh, the second point. Etymology is the branch of science uh, that deals with the origin of words. So let's see the etymological derivation of the term language. The term language is derived from the Latin word lingua, L-I-N-G-U-A, meaning tongue. Now let's see what are the alternative words used in other European languages like French, Italian and Spanish for the English word language. Now let's uh, first take the French language. In French, you have two words to designate the English word language. They are language and lang. Language, L-A-N-G-A-G-E, -A -G -A which means language in general. Lang, L-A-N-G-U-E, which means language in particular. Now, what about uh, Italian? Uh, for the English word language. In Italian, you have two other words, namely linguagio and lingua. Linguagio, 
L I N G U A G G I O, which means language in general. Lingua, L I N G U A, which means language in particular. And the last European language to be referred to is the Spanish uh, words that can be used instead of the English word language. First one is um, language, second is lengua, language, L-E-N-G-U-A-J-E, -E, which means language in general and lengua, L-E-N-G-U-A, which means language in particular. Students, uh, this is all what I intend to discuss in today's class. Now, before I conclude, uh, let me make you aware of um, the relevance of today's topics. Both the topics that I have dissected today will be of immense help to you to frame the introductory paragraphs, the initial paragraphs of both short answer questions and essay questions related to the concept of language okay so in the next video presentation i will be discussing some of the commonly approved and accepted definitions of language as verbalized and articulated by well known linguists until we meet again stay tuned Thank you.